Well, I guess uh, the plastic problem is pretty clear to most of us uh, today. Uh, there's a staggering amount of plastic being produced every year, of which only less than 10% gets recycled. It offers a lot of possibilities and we've just been focused on, uh, we've just been focusing on money. <laughs> Plastic for Good Challenge brings together the precious plastics community with a distributed design market platform. Thanks to the European Union and the Creative Europe Fund, we're bringing 15 creatives here to the Precious Plastics Base Camp in Eindhoven. To work with what we call new raw material, which is uh, basically a plastic that's already been transformed with some of our machines and is there ready for designer to be using it. So we have sheets and beams and as a starting point for a new creative process. Each of these groups will be looking at how they can use new precious plastic materials to create products that both improve life and also showcase this plastic as a valuable resource. Most of them are going to teach us what are the capabilities of this material and they are going to give us like a fresh view uh, to this material that we, haven't, we didn't got so far. And we are super excited to see what all these 14 creative minds can come up showcasing all the amazing things and products that you could create with uh, recycled plastic. We have a small period of time to become the best uh, possible designers uh, as a team. Here they're being asked to document their work so that it can be made open. Here they're also asked to work collaboratively with people from very different backgrounds, very different cultural backgrounds, but also fields. And they're also being asked to do something rapidly. It's a rapid prototyping experiment for them. We're looking at how this material, which is available um, and being created by pressure plastics right now, can be turned into something which um, could easily be made today, rather than proposing um, some sort of design for the bigger picture. This is for us the challenge, to use the material properly according to the properties it has. You can carry each element, like one human should be able to carry one. And then you heat it up and you can squeeze it in and you can create these like quite complex shapes. It's really easy to make, as you can see, this is the mold. But we are struggling to find a way to just need one machine. Although it, this is about plastic good as well, it's also about how we can start thinking of products being open source. Generally, you take so much time to think and to form generation, to ideate on the topic, but uh, uh, that was the challenge all about. The main challenge, like I'm sure everyone uh, has mentioned, is the heat, because it's super hot here. It's been really hot days in the Netherlands. I feel very hot. It's plastic for good, super challenge, and I'm very happy with it because it's, it's not easy. We were interested in making something that was quite playful and encouraged play. So we are actually in love with that and as soon as we make some step further, we always try them. So you can find us like rocking on it, sitting on it, stepping on it. We started to do this test using beam and sheets of recycled plastic. We have built a modular structure. You can slide in, in this direction and it's, it's blocked by some little beam. We are trying to focus on a social problem. We are struggling with this mainly because we try to make it accessible and affordable. So we've arranged uh, five to six layers of plastics together and uh, now we're going to heat press it. So the result is going to be something like this. Oh, the first days were very, very hectic. It was like stressing out what to do, how will it be. And also it takes time to study the material, understand the material, how the sheet is. But now it's getting better. We started looking at spaces and how we can use recycled plastic very simply uh, to make quite complex spaces that are waterproof, uh, that also look great and they're really lightweight. So anyone can make them and then they could be stacked modularly and transported somewhere else. For me, actually the first time working with plastic. I really like that you can melt it and bend it. And it's not possible with wood. We played with the malleability of the plastic. 
People generally struggle to make connections with these materials because of their properties, because it's soft material, because you need to oversize most of the parts. We call the pieza al horno, la calentamos y la curvamos a mano. Y le damos la forma que nos permite pasar de una dirección a la otra. Distributed Design Market Platform is doing a huge effort to communicate all that's happening around in order to reach a lot of people, to motivate a lot of people and to um, put on the table what's happening and I think that's amazing. Learning has mainly come through sort of conversation and debate and I think it's been a real shared learning experience between all of the designers that are here. To get everyone together in, in one environment and one workspace, it's, yeah, it's really inspiring, not just for us but hopefully the things that we make. The experience was awe-inspiring. I mean, I've never had such an experience in my lifetime. Being here, it's just an amazing opportunity. It's the people, not the design. That's what I would say. Being part of a design network that can start to sort of be participatory and work with people, um, and particularly work outside of its own um, sphere, um, I think that's a much better way to be a solution to sort of every, every problem. We've made a backpack which can also be converted into a desk. In rural part of India, kids carry books in flimsy plastic bags and when they reach the school they don't have desks. This is our project Steedy. It is a children's rocking toy, um, obviously made out of uh, precious plastic material. This is a kind of architectural building skin that protects anything underneath it from rainwater. A cargo bike that can be used like a pop-up recycle point that can be moved around the city to collect plastic from the people. We worked on joinery, like joints between parts. So that you can connect orthogonal pieces. All right, so here we are, end of the five days, end of the Plastic for Good Challenge. It's been a really amazing, intense, hot week where the 15 designers have been here with us from early in the morning until late at night, working with this new material, working with recycled plastic. And, and the outcome is really, really, really interesting for us and for Precious Plastic, but also for uh, all the makers' movement. So now is your time to join the challenge and take it further and replicate these designs all around the world. Mm -hmm.